Meet Judy Riley and her Labrador puppy, Captain. To Judy, Captain is more than just the newest member of her family. She's a volunteer for Guide Dogs of America and she's training him to be a service dog. So this seemed to me like the perfect match for being able to be of service to somebody. But I'd also get to hang out with a puppy for 24 hours a day. 16 years later, she's helped train 11 dogs. Captain is puppy number 12. And, uh, I saw an article in the newspaper on the Daily News saying that they were looking for volunteer puppy raisers. For Judy, volunteering with Guide Dogs of America has been a remarkably rewarding experience. And it's not hard to see why. We basically give people like myself who are blind the independence and mobility to live a life um, that's filled with things that they want to do rather than things that they have to do with someone else. Every year, the nonprofit graduates over 50 teams and is thanks in part to community members who give up their time to help. Puppy raisers are like the core of Guide Dogs of America because they're volunteering their time, a piece of their heart, and a part of their lives to guide dog puppies in training. Volunteers play a critical role for the Guide Dogs of America. In fact, they make up about 90% of the staff. That's 250 volunteers. The nonprofit would like to do more for the community, but it needs your help. I had my dog graduate, but to meet the lady who has him, who he's been paired up with, and to see the impact that this dog is going to have on her life and how they've already bonded with one another. It's, um, it's very, very special. As these dogs impact people's lives, um, such as mine, and I have to say I've never been happier. If you'd like to volunteer, contact Guide Dogs of America in Somar. For Council District 7, I'm Cheryl Gajwiza.